I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry. I still a little see you trying to make some plans. Now come on, baby, lady, in the PM. Hope that you will understand. I think that if you get to know me, you see I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold. I've been trying to take my eyes off you. Oh, girl, it ain't easy. Just let go of that body. Why well, you gotta keep flirting like you do? I waited so patiently, but you don't seem sorry. I still a little see you trying to make some plans. Now come on, baby, let it in the PM. Hope that you would understand. I think that if you get to know me, See, I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you, let me feel you till the morning light. I'm more than just nine to five. Everyone's known it's only you and I. Looks like we'll be staying up all night. Time to play what you say. I'm here for you. I'm working over. I'm gonna let your clothes drive down to the floor. I wanna see you moving slowly to the music. We'll be dimming the lights, then lock the door. I know it sounds crazy, but hey, we're gonna do it. Come on. Yeah. I'm a little DM, uh -huh. trying to make some plans. Trying, baby. I'm gonna make it in the PM. Hope that you will understand. I think that if you get to know me, I'm way more than nice. I wanna hold you, let me feel you till the morning light. I'm more than just nice. Sometimes things get shattered, but we can rebuild better, stronger, faster. Hmm. <laughs> we always have an opportunity to start again, to start fresh every single day, every single breath, a way to, a time to start fresh to make you healthier. And you know, the beauty of working out and doing things like your yoga, like Pilates, like bar, like the things we're going to do today, like lifting weights, it rebuilds you. It makes you stronger. Your body is resilient. You can do a lot of great things. I am Jan. This is 316 Yoga. This is your Yoga Plus. So on Fridays, we do Yoga Plus. What is the plus? The plus is the bar, the Pilates, the weights. We do it all. We work it into our yoga just to have fun, to make you stronger. In fact, every day we practice live for one hour. It's a one hour long practice. If you can only stick around for 10 minutes, give yourself permission to just do 10 minutes. Nobody's judging you. Don't judge yourself. All right, so it's a one hour long practice. Stick with it. I think it goes by fast. You owe it to yourself to spend this time on improving you. 
All right, so you're going to need some props as you practice. And I said every day is different. We use pretty much the same props. But one of the things we do is we do what is right for our bodies every day. That's the most important thing. If it hurts, don't do it. If it's just uncomfortable, breathe through it. You'll learn. You'll, you'll pass those thresholds of, oh, I can't, and things will become, oh, yes, I can. All right, but if something's painful, just don't do it. It's no big deal. The props make it simpler in some ways, and they sometimes make things harder. The thing, one of the, two of the props we, two of the props, one of the props we often use are two yoga blocks. Have those, buy those, they're not expensive, because you're going to come back, right? You're going to come back and do this. You're going to commit to this excellence for you. All right, a little yoga strap, you might want to have that as well. On Fridays, we add in a few other things. We add in a ball. This is called a bender ball. You can buy other balls like it. Bender's just a brand name. You, it's a soft membrane of a ball, and you don't inflate it all the way. You keep it good and squishy to create an unstable surface. Buy one, it makes it fun, it makes it more doable, and boy, do you see results. Because when you create an unstable surface, you're engaging muscles that you don't normally do. Kind of shakes it up a little bit, makes it different. Two weights, hand weights. If you don't have hand weights, your water bottle or cans from your pantry can double as your weights. These weights aren't very heavy. You decide what weights you want. If you don't like them, you can go smaller. If you don't like them, you can go bigger. But just start somewhere. Isn't that what we always have to do? Start somewhere. And lastly, my favorite props, <laughs> the eye shade and the little hand towel. Eye shade is for covering your eyes in final shavasana pose. It's weighted. It's scented with lavender. If you like that, you can buy them unscented too or have someone make it for you. All right, and then a little hand towel. Hand towel is very versatile. It can cover your eyes. It can uh, make your arms longer so you can do poses. And you can also slip it under your knee when we do lunges or other poses if your knees don't like that kind of thing. That's it, all right, that's a lot, right? If you don't have anything at all, that's fine. You can still do this practice, just do it, just do it. Even if it's just a little bit, it's all good. All right, we're gonna come up to standing. Uh, oh wait, I forgot to tell you the word of the day. Oh my gosh, we heard, I should find this myself. Peace, <sighs> peace has been the theme of our month. Peace has been the word that we've been thinking about all month. It means freedom of the mind from annoyance, distractions, and anxiety. So that's what you want to get rid of, the annoyance, the distraction, and the anxiety. But what you want to have is a state of tranquility and serenity. And that, my friends, is peace. All right, you got that word. <laughs> Let's lock into stress number as we come on up to standing. Stress number, what do I mean by that? On a scale of 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 or 1 to 100, assign your stress in your body right now a number. All right, what is it? And we're going to come back to that in the end. As you practice with us, you'll, you'll come to understand that a little bit more and get more comfortable with it. All right, so you got that stress number. Remember the number. <sighs> and let's start practicing. All right, if you got the ball, why not take it and put it up between your thighs? Give it a big squeeze. Engage your lower body. So stay strong here. Give it a squeeze. I mean, really hold on to that ball. It helps you feel more stable, too. You could have a chair nearby or your countertop nearby as well. Let's take a stand of confidence. So your feet are a little wider than hip width distance. Hands to your shoulders. Uh, what are these? Your hips. These are your shoulders. <laughs> Hands to your hips. Send your elbows back and lift your chest on up. Oh, I can feel that right there. You're just making yourself larger. You know, when you're confident, you stand tall, right? And when you're tall, it commands authority. You feel like a warrior, strong, puffed up chest, elbows back, shoulders down. Breathe, take a big breath in through your nose. <sighs> and a big sighing breath out through your mouth. Pick up space, feel large and in charge. Breathe. All right, start to come up onto your toes, onto the balls of your feet. Lift your heels up directly behind the balls of your feet. Grip with your toes, use your toes. Lift and lower and breathe. Breathe in through the nose, <sighs> out through the mouth. Sigh it out. It helps the stress go. Audibly, sigh it out. It makes a difference. Lift and lower <sighs> and breathe. Breathe. Lift in the toes. Come on up high onto the balls of the feet. If you're strong, have your chair nearby. It's fine. You're still getting the good lift. No big deal. Also working on balance a little bit here. So important. And in fact, our living our yoga off of our mat tip, we've been doing that every day this month. Today's the last day. I've got a good one for you. It's coming up in our balancing sequence because balance is so important. All right, come on down to your heels. Lift your toes up and give them a wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle in the toes. Plant your feet solidly on the ground. Oh, it feels good now. Lift your arms on up high to the sky, extended mountain. 
Sink your shoulders back down into your shoulder sockets. Lift, breathe, extended mountain pose. Big breath in, <sighs> big breath out. Interlace your fingers, palms to the sky. Start to sway from side to side. As you're doing this, you're getting a nice stretch sideways in your spine. That's a good way to move, right? Got to move in all the different planes of motion. Maybe take it deeper, maybe not. You decide. What do you feel like today? Just move. You'll feel better when you move. Come on back up. Uh, palms high to the sky. Take your hands. Place them at your low back. Send your belly forward. Elbows back towards your spine. Look up. Look up higher, maybe. Take this baby back bend. Breathe. Chest lifts to the sky. Breathe. Chin to the sky. Exhale. Forward fold. Then we'll move the spine all four different ways. Bend forward. Hinge forward. Crown of the head toward the earth. Look to your knees. Look to your belly button. Let your arms hang. Put a little bend in your knees. Breathe. Wiggle your neck. Let it go. No tension there. Breathe. Slowly, with control, still the body and roll your head on. Roll your spine on up, one vertebra at a time, chin away from your chest. Don't you feel better already? All right, so let's come into like a chair pose. Bend your knees, hold it here, maybe little teeny pulses. And as you're pulsing, maybe let's add in the arms. Maybe you tee out your arms and do little arm circles at the side of your room. Maybe you do the circles bigger. Get into the rhythm of the knees. Arms come up, knees straighten, arms come down, knees bend. Breathe, get some motion going. Breathe, put a smile on your face. Breathe, arms go in the opposite direction. Circle your arms back, breathe. <sighs> Maybe go deeper in the knees. Bend, straighten. All right, another fun thing to do with the spine. Come to stillness at the midline of your body. Take a big breath in. <sighs> and a big breath out. Soften in the shoulders. Let's twist in the low back. So go ahead, turn. Look over one shoulder, then the other. Keep your arms good and heavy as they sway from side to side. Tapping your backside, tapping your hip. Looking over your shoulder. Really use your eyes. Look. Look far over your shoulder. Maybe look farther over your shoulder. Breathe. Give the ball a squeeze. Don't forget that it's there. Engage. <sighs> All right. Slow it on down. That's a really important pose. It doesn't seem like much, but it's really important. It's a controlled twist. Let's do ragdoll. All right. Keeping the feet underneath the hips. Hinge forward. Hinge forward. Put a little bend in your knees for more comfort. Bring your hands to opposite elbow creases. Gaze back toward the ball or up toward your belly button. Breathe. Start to sway gently from side to side. One elbow back toward a knee, then the other elbow back toward the other knee. Let the crown of the head hang heavy and try a little bend in your knees. See how that feels. <sighs> Decompress your spine. Loosen up the neck. Let the head hang heavy. Finish up. Come back to the midline of your body. Release your fingertips toward the earth. Bend your knees and come on down. Remove the ball from between your legs if you used it. Lots of ways to do the next pose we're going to do. Child's pose. We got into the body. We warmed it up. Don't you feel warmed up now? Let's get into the head. Let's get into the head or let's get out of the head. Because we want to stop thinking and overthinking this process. All right, so let me show you a couple ways to do your child's pose. Your knees can be together. Your big toes can be touching. Send your hips back toward your heels. Using a block or two or no blocks at all, you decide. Eh, you know, kind of come down. Let your back be flat. Arms down by your sides. Fingers reaching toward the bottom of the mat. Really reach them farther. Think of pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Adjust with the blocks however you like. Maybe you don't want to use any blocks at all and you want to bring your forehead down to your mat. There's your classic child's pose. I'll tell you about the good things it does in a second. Another option, knees spread wide, big toes touching, hips back to your heels, arms reach long to the top of your mat. You can use your blocks underneath your hands as you sink your chest down. You could use your block under your chest as you sink your chest down to it. If the ground just seems a little too far away, bring the ground up to you with your blocks. Or you can use the ball. Hold on to the ball, stretch it out. Forehead on the mat in either pose or on your block. Let it be. 
So this is an extended child's pose. What differentiates it is the knees are spread wide and the arms are reaching long. In both poses, this is your opportunity to get out of your head. Take a deep breath in and a big sighing breath out. As you sigh it out, think of your tailbone going more to the back of the room. Think of the crown of your head lengthening more to the top of you. Your knees are getting a nice good stretch here, as are your quadriceps and your ankles. Your spine is lengthening. Breathe. If your arms are in the extended child's pose, you're getting a nice stretch in the armpits too. So go ahead and if you're using the ball, circle it, roll it around a little bit under your hands. Earlier this week, we did a pose very similar to this when we were seated in a Sukhasana pose, and we'll do it again next week. Seated in a Sukhasana pose and reaching our hands long, kind of spider walking them to the top corner of one mat than the other. Just move a little bit, settle in, nothing wrong with your pose, however it is, as long as it doesn't hurt. All right, bring it back to stillness. Really reach through the fingers, really send the tailbone back, close your lips and breathe in and out of your nose. Try to do that. If it doesn't work, don't do it, plain and simple. Big breaths in, big breaths out. If you want, come back to your child's pose anytime. If you're, we're doing something that you don't so much like, if you take it to a lesser percentage, that's fine. Or if you come back into this child's pose, that's fine too. One more big breath in and a big breath out. Be in the present moment. Be in to the sensations in your body. No thoughts about the past. No thoughts about the future. Just be here. Be here. All right, nice big stretch there in our child's pose. Let's come out of it. All right, puppy pose. Come down to your forearms. Elbows under your knees. Adjust your or elbows under elbows under your knees. Elbows under your shoulders. Adjust your knees so they are comfortable. However, feels good for you. Again, you can use a block underneath your chest. Send your tailbone up to the sky. Let your chest melt to the earth. Slide your arms a little more forward. You'll find where it's right for you. Tailbone good and lifted. This is your little puppy pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel the goodness in the low back here. Breathe. Forehead can come down as well. Arms can work a little more forward if that feels good. Parallel arms are pushed into the mat, fingers spread wide. Tailbone high to the sky. Even wiggle your tailbone a little bit like a puppy. And then finish. Oh my gosh, let's come out of it. All right, forearm stretch from your neutral tabletop. What's a neutral tabletop? That's shoulders over wrists, hips uh, over your uh, knees. Press the tops of your feet into your mat. Your hands or fingers are pointing forward on your mat. Let's point them backward. Point your fingers back towards your knees. Oh yeah, you know what you're feeling now, right? Big stretch in the forearms. Oh my goodness, that feels good for me today. Wiggle your tail again from side to side. Feel the good stretch in your forearms. That's what we're going for. It doesn't matter how it looks. What matters is how it feels, and I hope it feels super good. All right, send your hips back a little bit more, sending more weight into your fingers. Maybe send more weight into your fingertips and let your palms come up a little bit. How does it feel? Move to what feels right. Woo. Breathe. Stretch out the forearms. We keep our hands so many times in a position where the hands are curled down, especially when you're on your computer. Now let's stretch it out by moving in the opposite direction. Let it feel good with the fingers back towards the knees, wiggling your tailbone to what makes the forearms feel right. All right, finish up. Bring your hands back to a natural position. Wiggle your fingers, circle your wrists. Get those tingles out of the forearms. You now your two blocks. If you want, you can use your hands if you don't have the blocks. We're gonna come to a toes pose and an ankle flow pose. All right, shoulders over your hips. Tuck your toes toward your shins using your blocks. Put hands can rest on the blocks at whatever height you like. Maybe take some tension out of the feet or add some tension, add some good stress, right? We wanna stress our bodies in a good way. And your yoga does that by taking the stretches nice and deep. Sit back onto your heels. If it hurts though, you know, hurts not good. Come out of it, hinge forward, don't do it. If it's just uncomfortable, consider it a challenge that you are ready to overcome. Sit back on your heels. Using your blocks, you can stay right here. Breathe in, breathe out, eyes can be closed. This is your toes pose. 
Oh, strengthen your foundation. That's what we got to do. Breathe. All right, take it to the ankle pose for a flow, because now it's a big stretch in your foot in one direction. Let's take that big stretch in the other direction. Bring the tops of your feet onto your mat. Have a seat onto your heels. Keep your knees together with the blocks. Push into them. Lift your little old knees up and come on to the tops of your feet. Take the stretch to what is right for you and appreciate these blocks. Use them however you like. You know, use them. Lean on back into the tops of the feet. Stretch out the ankles. Really find that full range of motion in your foundation. All right. So we got back on the ankles. Let's go back to toes pose. You don't have to use the blocks. You know, you can put your hands on the ground. You know, do what's right for you. Maybe hands to prayer center in your toes pose as you soften in your shoulders. <sighs> I could stay in toes pose all day. Not really, but I could stay here longer. Just feels really, really good, especially knowing that you've got your ankle pose coming, right? All right, so settle in. Know that you're going to go to an ankle pose when you're ready. You don't have to stay as long as I do. Just kind of flow it back and forth. But before you go into the ankle pose, really settle into the toes. Really take that stretch good and deep and allow it to really reach its full potential. And then come out of it, knowing that's coming. Whew. And then lean back on to the tops of the feet. Find your balance if you want, or use your hands or your blocks. Stretch out your foundation. Yes, good work. All right, let's come out of it. Neutral tabletop. Lift your toes up. Squeeze and scrunch them. Circle the ankles. Tap the tops of your feet out on your mat. All right, cat-cow pose. Knees together, or knees underneath your hips. Shoulders over the wrists. Lengthen through your spine. Think of your spine as super long. Crown of the head, tailbone, super long in opposite directions. Press the weight into the top of your feet and into your hands. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. When you're ready, on an exhale, tuck your chin to your chest for your cat pose. Press into your feet. Lift your back up to the sky. Push hard into the earth. Inhale, cow, just the opposite. Tailbone lifts like you did in puppy pose. Crown of your head lifts to the sky. There's your cow pose. Push into your feet. Push into your hands. Be strong here. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. So picture a cat, a Halloween cat, arching its back up to the sky. Big cat pose. Then a cow pose. Think of a cow in a field. How its belly kind of sags down. Crown of the head lifts. Tailbone lifts. You're moving your spine in several directions here. Great movements. Getting the neck awakened as well. Finish up in your cat-cow pose. Extend your right leg long. Press the ball of your foot into the mat. Press the weight into the mat. Send the heel toward the back of the room. Feel the big stretch in the right extended leg. When you're ready, lift that right leg up, cross the midline of the body, squeeze high in the upper inner thighs, place the ball of the right foot down on the left side of your body. Equal distance in your hips to the earth. Look over your left shoulder, look back to your foot, your knee, your bottom, push into the earth with your hands. Stretch that extended right leg, good and strong and long. Feel the stretch in the right side of your body. Another lateral flexion of your spine. When you're ready, bring the foot back to its starting position. Plant the right knee next to the left. Left leg extends. Ball of the foot pushes into the mat. Push it hard into the mat. Maybe this is where you stay today. Don't judge yourself. If you don't take it farther, this is good. It's true of any of these poses. If you take step one and stay with step one, you're number one. Why not, right? Cross the leg over if you like. Press the ball of the foot into the earth. When you're ready, gaze over your right shoulder. Take the depth of the stretch to what feels good for you. Push the earth away. Bring the left knee back to meet the right. Nice job. When you're ready, let's do a bird dog pose on the ball. All right. Don't have to have the ball. The ball kicks it up a notch, makes it a little bit harder. I'm going to place the ball underneath my right knee. Right knee is going to be my foundation. See what I mean by the uh, ball creates an unstable surface? It just kind of want to rocks around a little bit. But you are strong. You have little micro wiggles, little teeny movements that's helping you keep your balance. Draw your toes toward your shin. Left leg extend it long. Knee at about hip height. Extend the left leg long and straight. Push hard into the earth. You've got this kickstand of your right toes helping you here. 
but you got that little bit of a wiggle going on. Push into the earth. Hold the leg high here. Leg is high and lifted. Let's add in some balancing challenge here with the right arm. Lift your right arm up. Reach it long to the front of the room. Hold it, reach, stretch. Push hard into the earth. You're balancing on this ball. You've got it. It's going to move little teeny bits, but that's good. Stay strong. You are strong. Stretch, reach. You got it. Hand comes down. Left knee comes down. Ball now goes under the left knee. All right, draw the left toes toward the shin. Lift on up in the right leg. Leg extends long. Drive through your heel. Breathe and hold right here. And look at your left knee. It's moving. You can't keep it still if you want to. All these little movements are challenging you. Challenges are good. Right leg is long. Add in the left arm if you want. Reach, use your right hand to really grip into the mat. Push the earth away. Make it work for you. The strong push helps to keep your balance. Stretch, reach. And as you're ready, let's finish. Hand comes down, knee comes down. That is your bird dog on the ball. It's a challenge. Let's take the ball now. I'm gonna place the ball behind my right knee. If you don't have a ball, you could use your weight. You could use nothing at all. You decide what you want to do. Ball just makes it a little more fun. Lift the right knee up and dial the right hip down. Try to have your hips kind of equal distance to the mat. Weight equally distributed into your hands. Start your donkey or your fire hydrant pose. Open up the knee to the right side of the room. Breathe. You're looking down between your thumbs, pushing the earth away. Your back is strong, lengthening through the crown of your head, lifting your leg like a little dog on a fire hydrant or a big dog on a fire hydrant. Now, as you're ready, let's hold the knee up so the outside of the right shin is up toward the sky and pulse, pulse, little teeny pulses. That's one of the characteristics of a bar practice. Lots of little teeny pulses. Again, just engaging little teeny muscles that you don't normally engage, making them work extra hard. Breathe, have your ankle a little higher than the knee. Pulse it up, pulse it up, pulse it up. As you're ready, are you ready? Let's finish, hover the right knee next to the left. Don't set it down, hover it. When you're ready, kick the right knee back up toward the back of the room. Your toes are drawn toward your shin. Right hip is down, so, the left, so both hips are equal distance to the mat. Push into the earth, start to kick your heel. Little teeny pulses in toward your bottom. Push the earth away. Stay strong here. Lengthen through the crown of your head. You're strong, don't sag. Push the earth away. Little kicks in, in, in. You're strong, you got it. Breathe, finish. Squeeze that ball really super tight. Heel even closer to your bottom. Pulse your foot up to the sky. Just when you were thinking it can't get any more fun, it does, right? Pulse the foot up, up, up to the sky. Breathe, breathe, don't quit, don't give up. Take little breaks if you need to, but then get back in the game. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Let's finish now. Hover the right knee next to the left. Don't set it down, push into the earth, hold it. Now put the knee down. Let's switch to the other side. Bring your ball or nothing at all behind your left knee. Neutral tabletop. <sighs> Lift the left knee up. Press into the earth. Are your wrists under your shoulders? You want that good alignment. Draw your left toes toward your shin. Start to lift the ball a little bit. Or lift your leg and the ball. But that ball's not going anywhere. It's tight behind your knee. Lift the knee up to the side of the room. Little dog, big dog, they're all good. Breathe, breathe. Keep it lifting, you've got it. And when you're ready, here's a little alternative. Lift the knee up, lift the outside of the shin up toward the sky and little teeny pulses of that leg up, up, up. Breathe, most important part, breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Lift, lift, lift. Oh, maybe the ankle's higher than the knee, keep pulsing. Hold it up good and high and strong, you got it? And then bring the knee to hover next to the right knee. 
Hover it there for a second or two. Re-engage, weight equally distributed into your hands. Lift the left leg up toward the back of the room. Knee comes to about hip height. Start to kick yourself in the bottom. Little teeny pulses into the bottom. Left hip, re-engage it, dial it down a little bit more. As you dial the left hip down, you start to feel the right glutes even more. It's all good. <sighs> Lengthen through your spine. Back is nice and flat and straight. Push into the earth. Even that right foot, push it into the ground. Don't forget, it's easy to just kind of slack off, right? Breathe, breathe, little teeny pulses. Hug and squeeze that ball good and tight. Start to lift your foot up like you're stomping on the ceiling. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whew. It's all good. Keep it going. Don't quit. Your glutes, those big muscles, they need a workout too. Breathe, breathe. We start with the foundation. Remember, we warmed up first of all, then our warm up. We do that pretty much every day. Then we move to our foundation with our feet and our ankles. Then we move into these big muscles, your legs, your bottom. Oh yeah, how are you doing? Let's keep doing it. Keep it going. And when you're ready, are you ready? I think I'm ready. Oh, let's bring the left knee to hover next to the right. Re-engage, push the earth away, hover the knee, plant the left knee down. Remember how we took the ball underneath our fingers in that wide-legged child's pose? Let's do it again. Send your legs wide, send your hips back, hands on the ball if you want. Oh, stretch it out. Send your tailbone further to the back of the room. Sink your chest lower to the earth. Breathe. Let's finish. All right, come on out of that. You did it. All right, so every day, just about every day, except for our restorative days, because we do relax too. Check out that. We're going to do a one minute plank. We set a timer. The timer is just for you, so you can measure your progress if you wish. Here's a new way of doing plank that I've introduced recently to the practice if you want to do it. If you're saying, I can't do planks, oh my gosh. Yes, you can, because you can do it this way. Take your two blocks, come to fully recline. Legs long on your mat. Place your blocks on your palms. Push the blocks up to the earth, but then check out your shoulders. Pull your shoulders back into place. Hug, hug your shoulders next to your spine so you're strong and stable. There you are in your reclined plank. You can stay here for a minute. I challenge you. Yes, you can. All right, I'm going to do a different variation of plank because this is our fun day, our fun Friday. Get into the variation of plank you like. You know what you want to do. Take it your way. I'll show you on other days of the week, other variations. All right, let's go. I'm going to come into a high plank and I'm going to take it from this high plank and let's go. All right, <laughs> come on. High plank, shoulders over wrists. Let's set a timer for one minute. Here we go. Feet, hip width distance apart. Shoulders over the wrists. Hold on here. What I'm going to do in my high plank, I'm going to lengthen through my spine. I'm going to hold on. You have been here already 10 seconds. Good on you. Take breaks when you need to. Come down to the knees if you want. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to walk my hands back to meet my feet. Ah, then I'm going to walk them forward again. And I'm going to come back to a high plank. I'm going to push the earth away, lengthening through the crown of my head. We're halfway there. I'm going to walk my hands back to meet my feet, folding in half, looking to my knees or beyond. Then I'm going to walk my hands forward. Come back to a high plank, shoulders over wrists. We have got 15 seconds to go. One more time, walk the hands back to meet the feet. You do it your way. Look back. Let the crown of the head hang heavy. Then I'm going to walk back to my high plank. Hold it here. Push into the earth. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. We should stay for two minutes. What do you think? All right. The minute has passed. Let's come out. All right. Come on down to your knees. Maybe grab a drink. Whatever variation of plank you took, good on you. Got to start somewhere, right? And the fact that you're here, the fact that you showed up, that's starting. Don't quit. All right. Ah, grab a drink. All right. Let's do some core stuff. All right. Just don't quit. I mean, I can't emphasize that enough. And don't be hard on you. Don't think I'm not doing enough. Yes, you are. You're doing just what's right. Challenge yourself a little bit, but don't challenge yourself so much that you don't come back because you say, oh, it's too hard. It is not too hard because you modify. If you're not modifying. You're not doing it right. You've got to make it work, but you just got to do to do. All right, let's go. Come on down on your bottom. Let's come on down. 
to your bottom, knees slightly bent, hands to first center, lengthen up through your spine, exhale, fully recline. Come on down, all the way down to your mat. Okay, we're gonna straighten the left leg, we're gonna bend the right knee, you're gonna hug it in with your interlaced fingers underneath. Hug it in, then send the right leg long. Bend the left knee and hug it in and send it long. Continue, continue in this way, hugging one knee in while the other leg is straight. Kick it up a notch, peel your shoulders up and don't set the extended leg down. Hug it in, a Pilates pose, single leg stretches. Hug it in, breathe it in, breathe, <sighs> breathe. All right, hug it in. Maybe the shoulders are up or not, you decide. Let's come down, send the right leg straight up to the sky, release it long. Send the left leg up to the sky, release it long. Let's do the same thing, adding in the hands. Take your hands, capture under the hamstring or the calf, send one leg long and hug the other leg in. Maybe peel your shoulders up, keep at it. Pull a straight leg in, and pull a straight leg the other straight leg. Yeah, right? Okay, pull one straight leg in and extend the opposite leg. Nice work. Breathe. Let's do both legs at the same time. Up and down. Up and down. Arms can pull in the legs and release them, or you can keep your arms down by your sides. Shoulders can be down, or shoulders can be lifted. Breathe. Breathe, a little bend in your knees would be all right too. Just get them up there and down. Get them up there and down. Breathe, breathe. The most important part is to breathe. Breathe, breathe. All right, when you're ready, let's finish up. Legs go long, arms down by your sides. Let's do Pilates 100s. To do your 100s, again, take it in layers, maybe. You start with the arms, just lift them, and gently act as if you're patting a little puppy under your hands. Maybe add in the leg or legs and lift them. Keep the arms down, lift the legs or both, or peel your shoulders up. Then start to pat the ground. Breathe. As the name implies, the idea is to do this 100 times. But like I say, every little bit is good. Maybe you do it 10 times. Maybe you do it twice. Maybe you do it 100, maybe you do it 200. You do what is right for you. Maybe lift the legs a little bit. It's a nice, pleasant distraction. Maybe lower them a little bit. Breathe, Whew. breathe, breathe. Most important part, breathe. How are you doing? Let it be. Oh, it's all good, isn't it? Ah, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Let's finish. Legs come down, arms go high overhead. Stretch it out, stick pose, fingers and toes, point in opposite directions. Oh, breathe, it's good. All right, boat pose. Press on up, maybe find your strap, or no strap at all. You decide, strap, maybe under the feet, lean on back, lift the legs up and hold it right here. Breathe, chest is lifted, back is nice and flat, shoulders are back, shoulders plugged in. Maybe release the strap and reach with your arms. Breathe, breathe, breathe. There's your boat pose. Put a little bend in your knees. Hands to first center. Row the boat. Dip one knee toward the earth, then the other. You got it, you got it. You can do it. Yes, you can. In fact, let's finish. Come on up. In fact, you can do it even better. Harder, stronger, faster. Yes, you can. Take your weights. Let's lean on back. If you don't want to use the weights, don't do it. You could also come down to your hands and take little twists in either direction. I'm gonna take my weights to my chest center. Lengthen up, lean on back, lift the legs if you want, and then row, row, row with your weights. How fun is that, right? Twist, twist. Your feet can come down if you want. Twist, twist, row, and let's finish now, oh my goodness, that was hard, wasn't it? <sighs> I won't say it gets easier, I'll say you get stronger, you can do it. Let's come into a lunge, roll on over. Come on up, standing on your knees, find your two blocks, bring them by your side, standing on your knees, right foot forward, knee over ankle, push into the blocks, left leg long and straight on your mat, top of your left foot presses into your mat. You can put a towel under your knee if you want. 
maybe press on up to your fingertips. Feel the big stretch in your left hip. Oh, breathe. Whew. All right, big stretch in the left hip. Arms can go high, take a baby back bend if you want. Breathe, there's your lunge. Let's bring the hands down to the blocks. Let's tuck your back left toes under. Let's rise on up. So the knee is just hovering above the earth. Little teeny pulses in the back knee. Arms can be lifted, arms can be to your blocks. Arms can be at prayer center. Little teeny pulses in the back knee. Breathe, breathe, you're strong. Oh, gotta love the pulses, right? Oh, awesome. Breathe. Push the right foot, the front foot. Push it into the mat. Push the ball of the left foot into the mat. And your heel, which is lifted in the left foot, to the back of the room. And pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Let's finish. Come down to the left knee. Have the right knee meet the left. Left foot forward. Left knee over left ankle. We do a variation of this lunge so many times during the week. Send your right leg back, top of the right foot on the mat. Again, getting into your strong hips. You gotta have that mobility, right? All right, leg is long. Maybe you stay right here today. Don't be discouraged. Stay right here. Perhaps one day, come on up to the fingertips. Raise the arms on up. Look up. Breathe, little back bend if you want. Hips are forward, breathe. Hands to first center if you like. Whew, breathe. Guess what? Hands back to the blocks. Tuck your right toes under. Lift the right heel on up a little bit above the earth. And pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Hands to first center if you want. Breathe. Press the left foot into the mat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pulse, pulse, pulse. You can do it. Yes, you can, because we're almost done. Not a whole lot more. Stay here. We're going to go to hand weights next. So just open up. Breathe through the hips. You're strong, you got it. Don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. Now, let's finish. Hands back to the blocks. Sweep your right leg up to meet your left. So you are now standing. Remove the blocks, find your weights. Roll your spine up, one vertebra at a time. Whew, good and strong, you've got it. All right, here we are. Root into the earth, you're strong. You can put the ball between your legs if you want. How does that feel? Arms, weights. Arms are bent, weights to your shoulders. Lift and lower. From extended mountain arms with the weights to your shoulders. Breathe. Okay, here's the deal. Maybe alternate. Maybe say, I'm not doing weights. And just use your hands. Lift. Find a little something. Maybe even tennis balls. Put them in your hands. You know, you can buy teeny tiny little weights. Just start to add some resistance. Breathe. All right, arms both at the same time or singularly, you decide. Breathe. Chest is lifted, focus forward. You're strong, you're strong. You're not broken. They have been broken, we all break, but we get back in the game. Rebuild, stronger, better, faster like the $6 million man, remember that? Breathe, breathe. All right, weights to your shoulders. Tee out your arms, pulse them up to the sky. Little teeny pulses up, breathe. Oh, think of it as taking a little break, a little pulses, breathe. Now, bend the elbows, weights to your shoulders, then extend and pulse. Weights to your shoulders. Extend and pulse. Shoulders. Nice long arms reaching left and right and pulse. Pulse, pulse. Weights to your shoulders. Then extend. Weights to your shoulders. Extend. Shoulders. Extend. In, out, in, out. Upper back is strong. You got it. Breathe. All right, extend the arms, flip the palms face down and pulse, pulse, pulse. Oh my goodness, chest is lifted and strong. Your arms are strong as well. You got it, you got it. Lift the arms up high overhead, bend the elbows, interlace your fingers as best you can. Weights are behind your neck, elbows hugged in. Nice stretch of your triceps. Lift the weights up and re-bend the elbows, breathe. 
breathe. Nice little tricep extension. So you work at the back of your arm. Za, breathe, <sighs> breathe. You got it, don't quit. Those are your triceps. <sighs> Let's work the front of the arm, your biceps. Weights go up high overhead. Weights come down by your sides. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Whew. Flip your palms so they're facing the front of the room. Bend your elbows. Bring the weights up to your shoulders and then down. Keep the elbows good and hugged in. Same thing here. You could alternate right arm, left arm, or both at the same time. How are your knees? Maybe soften them a little bit. Adjust. Soften in the knees. Your focus is on the arms. Breathe. Lift and lower. You got it going on. Let's keep it up. Elbows are hugged in. You feel your ribs. Breathe. 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 Nice bicep curls. All right. Now, a pose we do often in our balancing pose. Keep this up for a moment or two because I'll explain where we're going. Take the breaks when you need to. Alternate maybe. Keep it up. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We do a pose called you will look taller. You will look taller. You form into your body the shape of all those letters. Think of the old song YMCA. And what you're gonna do this time is with the weights. So let's finish up. Let your weights hang by your sides, palms in towards your hips. Take a big breath in, shrug your shoulders, big breath out, soften the shoulders. Raise your arms to the sides of your room. Lift them up as you bring your body into the shape of a letter Y. Legs are together, weights are lifted, arms spread wide. There's the word U with their body shaped as a letter Y. Now bring your elbows down to the shape of the letter W for the word will. Now bring your elbows in and your forearms parallel to the earth. Scoot your chest up to the sky. There's two L's, a forward and backward L for the word look. Let's tee out our arms. Nice big T. Let's pulse the arms to the back of the room. Breathe, breathe. We do this lots of different ways, sometimes against a wall, sometimes recline, sometimes freestanding. Let's do it again. You, hold it here. Send the weights high to the sky. Chest is lifted. Will, big W, two big L's for look. T it out, taller, pulse, pulse, pulse. You are done. Place the weights down by your sides. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Those heavy weights, what you wanna do is take a big step forward with your right foot. We're gonna come into a warrior three pose, but we've got the weights today, so we're taking a variation. Right leg is forward, left heel lifts. Hinge forward, bringing the left leg up, up, up to the sky. Bring the left leg up so it's parallel with your back, or it's in, in line with your back. All weights hang down, surrounding your right front foot. Now bend their elbows and bring the weights to your chest and lower. Lift and lower the weights. Find your balance here. Look at that wiggling in that right foot. Ooh, micro wiggles. You are finding balance. Left leg lifts good and high. You can use the back foot as a kickstand if you want. Don't sweat it. You got it. Finish. Weights come down by your foot. Left foot meets right. Take a big step back with the right foot. Left leg forward. Hinge forward. Weights surround the left foot. Right leg lifts as low or as high as you want. Breathe, hips are equidistant to the mat. You can hang out right here. Maybe start to bend the elbows, bringing the weights towards your heart. Breathe, remember lifting weights is good for your heart. Bring the weights to your heart, it's all good. Breathe, maybe the right leg comes higher. Breathe, you got it. Don't quit, don't quit. Finish up, weights hang by the left foot, right foot meets left. Leave the weights down here, roll on up, one vertebra at a time. Chin away from your chest last, tree pose. Hands to prayer center, right leg bends, right knee to the side of the room. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Settle into the foot. Bring the sole of the right foot to wherever you like on the standing left leg. Push the foot into the leg and the leg back into the foot. Have a chair nearby if you like. Grow your branches, look up, sway your branches. Today, sway your branches so much that you intentionally fall out. Not to hurt yourself, but take it to your extreme. Catch your balance, and when you fall out, get right back in. It means you pushed it. And you know what you're learning? You're learning, you can probably take things farther than you think, okay? Good, 
Hands back to first center. Right foot, right knee forward. Right foot meets the earth. When you're ready, lengthen up. Take the weight into the right foot. Open up the left. Bring the foot wherever you like and grow your branches. Sway your branches. It's all good. Foot where you like. <sighs> Remember, sway it to the point where you fall out. Gently though, I mean, don't hurt yourself. But take it, take your balance to the point where, whoop, all right, that was my limit. You don't know how far you can go until you push your limits, right? All right, there's your tree. Hands back to prayer center. Guide the knee to the front of the room, plant it down. All right, the pose I wanna show you. This month, we've been doing living your yoga off of your mat. Try this, when you put your socks on, let's go into a humble warrior, bend your knees, hands on your hips, lift your right foot up, bend the right knee, place the right ankle on top of the left knee, and when you put your socks on, do it this way. You don't have to sit down, you can put your socks on right here. You can do it, yes you can. Stay here, stay strong, find your balance. Put your sock on, sink lower. Strong quads, strong glutes. We've worked on this, you can do it. Sock is on, took a long time to put that sock on. Plant the right foot next to the left. Tree, or uh, chair pose. Bend in the knees, hands on the hips, or reaching forward. Sink nice and low, weight into the right foot. Weight out of the left, time to put the sock on this side. You can do this, work toward it. Why not? It's like another tip we had this month. As you brush your teeth, balance on one foot. Put your sock on, hold on, sink lower. You can do it in your little humble warrior. Breathe, let's finish. Foot comes down. All right, that's it for balancing. Fold forward. Walk your hands forward. Come on down to your knees. Come on down to your bottom. Stretch your legs long. Toes up toward the sky. Arms go high. Reach forward. Stretch out your low back. Reach for your hands. Hug your elbows in. Bring your gaze to your knees. Stretch it out. You have length in your back. Find it. Discover it. Take a big breath in. Lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale. Hollow out your belly and fold forward. Inhale. Come on back up. Let's go onto our backs. Onto your backs, but bring your weights. Onto your backs. Legs are long. Weights by your armpits. Lift them up to the sky. Palms are in. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift the weights. You can do it. Think like a bench press. Now, your weights are parallel to each other to the sides of your mat. Turn them 90 degrees so they're parallel to the top of your mat. And then lift, lift, lift. Maybe put a bend in your knees. Maybe that feels better in your low back. Maybe you want to do one weight at a time. Maybe you've switched to heavier weights. You could probably do heavier here. Breathe, breathe. Breathe, hold the weights high up overhead. Really hold them good and strong. Let the weights lower down overhead. Take it super duper slow, super slowly. How does it feel in your shoulders? If it doesn't feel so great, put a bend in your elbows. Don't hurt yourself. Breathe, big breath in, <sighs> big breath out. Straighten your legs. Now snow angel your arms. You can ditch the weights here or keep the weights in your arms. Sweep your arms on down by your sides. Sweep them on back up overhead. Sweep them on down, and then put them aside. A very familiar pose that you do, but you added the weights today to make it a little different. Press your feet into the mat. Lift your hips up to the sky. Bridge pose, arms down by your sides. Pulse your hips up, up, up to the sky. Little teeny pulses here. Breathe, really push your weight into the mat. Maybe hike your heels a little closer to your bottom, and pulse up, up, up to the sky. You got it. You got it, don't quit. Little teeny pulses. Your glutes are probably good and tight, right? Soften in the glutes. Think of the strong quads you got. Use the power in your quads to push up, up, up. Now squeeze your glutes good and tight and use the power there and pulse and pulse and pulse. Know from where your power comes. Roll your spine down slowly, one vertebra at a time. Roll over onto your belly. 
Superman pose and swimmer, more Pilates poses. Send your arms long to the top of your mat, legs long to the bottom of your mat. Spread your legs a little bit to what's comfortable. Think of Superman flying. Your chin, your nose is down at the center of your mat. Lift both legs up, or maybe just one or the other. Lift the legs up and hold them here. Hold them here higher, maybe. You decide how you want to do this, one at the time or both. Maybe not too high, maybe nice and high. Add in the arms, arms reach, lengthen. Breathe, balance on your pelvis, fly like Superman, then start to swim. Kick your legs. Nice Pilates pose called swimmer. Swim, swim. Maybe swim harder, maybe kick harder, maybe you got a shark chasing you. Breathe, breathe. Arms are moving, legs are moving. There's your swimmer pose. Finish up, hands down by your uh, collarbones. Press on up to a seal pose. Roll on over to your back. Take your eye shade and your towel with you to the top of your mat. Fully recline. Bend your knees. Hug your left knee to your left armpit. Hug your right knee to your right armpit. Happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Rock a little bit from side to side. Whew. Take your hands, capture inside your heels or your calves or wherever. Straighten one leg, then the other. You don't have to hold onto your heels. This is the fullest expression of the pose. One leg extends, other leg bends. Maybe today you're holding onto the knees just a little bit or the insides of the legs. Whatever works to send your legs up to the sky. And then eventually try for the heels. Maybe not today, maybe next week, maybe tomorrow. Because you're gonna come back every day, right? Let's finish now. Send your legs up high to the sky. Arms down by your sides. Your core is strong, slowly. At your pace, lower your tailbone. Keep your tailbone down and lower your legs all the way down. Breathe. You got it? You got it? You can do it. Breathe. Once the heels are all the way down, time for final Shavasana. Best pose of the practice. A little bit of space between your heels. Eyes are covered with your eye shade or your towel. Let it go. Maybe that's the hardest pose for you, letting it go and realizing you have to rest. You can't be on high all the time. Can't be full throttle all the time. Wiggle your shoulder blades underneath your back. Arms are long, legs are long, pinky toes fall toward the earth. Sigh it out, breathe it out, let it go. Shoulders are away from your ears as your fingers are drawn toward the bottom corners of your mat. Soften the area between your eyebrows. And just let go. Nothing wrong with letting go. You worked incredibly hard today. Come back to your breath. No thoughts, just breathe. Soften in your cheeks and your ears and your throat. If your teeth are touching, unclench your jaws and create some space there. And remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. deep breath out. Stay here longer if you like. One of your props might be your remote control. Could be right at your shoulders and right about this time you put me on mute and you enjoy your final Shavasana. Longer. And then when you're ready, you hit that pause button to start the play again, and then you come out of your pose. Begin by taking a deep breath in. 
and a deep breath out sigh it out your mouth let it go start to wiggle your fingers and your toes thank your foundation thank your feet for all that they did and thank your forearms remember that forearm stretch early on oh wiggle your fingers circle the wrists and the ankles inhale stretch and reach high overhead like it's your first good morning stretch before you get out of bed another tip we had this month of living your yoga off of your mat stretch it out good and long in bed before you even get out of your bed in the morning and when you're ready bend your knees as you exhale and roll onto one hip or the other bend your low arm and use that bicep as a pillow for your heavy head soften in the top shoulder eyes are closed savor this present moment with a deep cycle of breath as you're ready slowly press on up using your hands or not but just know what you're doing use your hands if you want or try not to use them and be aware that was another tip this month come to a comfortable seated position whenever you get up out of a chair don't use your hands your legs are strong put your hands on your knees right now and bring your shoulders over your hips crown of your head lengthens to the sky hands are on your knees so when you get up out of a chair don't put your hands on the arms of the chair don't make grunting sounds use your strong legs you know your legs are strong we've worked on them get up using your strong legs Bring your hands to prayer center now in gratitude for a great month of yoga, for a great period of understanding how to live every day. Your good yoga off of your mat. Soften your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and a big sighing breath out. <sighs> Blink your eyes open. You did it. Another yoga practice. I hope you found peace this month in your practice. I hope you found peace in this practice. Freedom in your mind from annoyances distractions and anxiety where you find a state of tranquility and serenity and remember sometimes things get shattered but don't think things are falling apart think things are falling into place all right you took a stress number what was it then what is it now it's a lot better right you found peace in your body through your movements have a great day see you on your mats tomorrow and remember these things as you go forward. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. See you guys on your mats tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you and goodbye. Hey guys, let's see if you can do your downward facing dog. Can you do it? Good girl, a nice puppy pose. That's it. And even wagged your tail. <laughs> it's all good. See you on your mats tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. It's not what you think you are that's holding you back. It's what you think you're not that's holding you back. Come on now. You can do your yoga. You know that because you've stuck around. You've done your yoga. You've been doing your yoga faithfully. Good for you. And I hope you're seeing the benefits. I know you're seeing the benefits. Tell your friends about those benefits. Have them join our yoga too. It is free for anybody and everybody on Facebook and on YouTube. They can sign in. They can do the yoga live with us, which I think is the most fun. Or they can watch it anytime throughout the day. If you'd like to support our broadcast, you can visit our website site. It's www.316yoga.com. Come check it out. Come check out your yoga. Tell your friends to check us out and just have a good time. Be all that you can be. See you on your mats tomorrow.